Let's go, uh, let's go first into the latest story from today's Australian, which revealed the sensational number of 66,000 students, and I use that term loosely because most of them are not students at all, I suspect, have jumped on a special COVID visa and are enjoying all the benefits that Australia can bestow while people who were born here are struggling to find housing. Now, Dan, for the, uh, for the viewers who aren't familiar with, uh, with COVID visas, can you explain what a COVID visa is and why so many students are able to take advantage of it? So a special COVID visa was put in place uh, when we in government closed the borders and we obviously needed to make sure that we could fill workforce shortages at that time. So uh, we developed what was called the pandemic visa to enable those who were here to be able to extend their stay here and keep working while the borders were closed. Now, what we've found out is, and this was called rightly, uh, the pandemic visa. And what we've found out is since the pandemic ended, since the borders were opened up, uh, the new Labor government, uh, Anthony Albanese's Labor government, have more than doubled the number of pandemic visas that have been issued. So more visas have now been issued since the pandemic ended than were issued when it was actually going on. And our view is this is just another part of the Albanese Labor government's big Australia policy. And what it's doing is putting huge pressure on housing, huge pressure on rent, huge pressure on our health system, huge pressure on congestion and huge pressure on the environment. And once again, we're seeing Labor make a mess of immigration because they've got no plan and no idea as to what they're doing.